Okay then, so what I'm basically going to do first is I'm going to prime the skin with a good moisturiser and that'll help the evenness of the foundation when I apply it. And to cover my eyebrows I've decided to use something as easy as Dax Wax because it's quite easy to get a hold of. So as you can see there, I'm just about to apply it to the eyebrow to cover it. It's a bit of a messy process but once you get used to it you'll get it down to a fine art. This is again. This is a technique that, if if you've got a low budget, it's it's always easy to to be able to sort of get a hold of. If not, then the other alternative is grimace eyebrow plastic, which I personally prefer. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to powder over the wax to set it and it, that'll just provide, it, it It just makes the eyebrow wax quite hard and it covers the brow up more, even more and sets the, the wax. And as you can see there is me applying the Leishner foundation to the wax to set it. And the next stage is to apply the foundation. Oh, that's just me brushing off the excess powder and moaning about how uneven I've applied it, but there you go, these things happen. Uh, the particular brand of foundation I've chosen is um, Kryolan Panstick in shades 7W and also DN, which is a darker shade for contouring. You will see that in just a moment. Uh, everybody has a different way of applying foundation. Myself, because I've got darker skin and darker hair, I like to absolutely cake myself in it. So I take the uh, colouring pen and crayon uh, approach to applying it. And getting right under there where the darker parts of my beard are. I also use a bit of um, MAC liquid foundation. I, the particular brand I use is a MAC Studio Fix, which is about it retails at about twenty pounds fifty. If it, it's really good, it's got really good coverage, and um, for, although it is quite expensive, I find is a fantastic foundation to use if you've got say a daytime photo shoot or you want to go out through the day and achieve a more natural, less caked look. As you can see, I'm just blending in the foundation with a makeup sponge there. I wish I could read my own lips. I'm just talking to Lisa about what I'm doing as I'm doing the, uh, going through the process. Did you say cake it on? Cake it on! So nice and everything. Obviously being dark skinned it, it, it's apparent that I've got very dark hair and hair that grows very quick on the face. So um, you can see the, the extent of the coverage that the Kryolan pan sticks do give and they are recommended. Uh, you will get sev several months use out of them. Uh, I, I have used it working six nights a week in Femme. And there is me just applying the darker, darker there for the um, contouring. But don't worry if it looks too dark, because it can actually be blended out to a lighter shade. It does it just blend out quite nicely to a lighter shade. Just under the cheekbones and around the forehead to make the forehead appear smaller. And then just blending it into the normal foundation now. You might want to use a makeup um, brush, a foundation brush for this particular process so you get a better blend, but I personally find that getting my hands you know d dirty with the actual sponge itself works for me just as well and some people even use the fingers it's all personal preference there's no right or wrong way of makeup artistry it's whatever works for you
I'm just puffing it under the cheekbone there to emphasise it, but you'll see in a moment that I do actually take a lot of it off because it, it is quite a harsh. It's, again, it's it's about being aware that less is more, although that is a lot. I do take a lot of it back off with the powder, which lightens it up as well. And on camera as well, it will give the illusion of a, of a really, really chiselled cheekbone. Yep, I'm just lightening that up now with the paler foundation and I'm getting ready to apply more loose powder over the top which should take the whole harshness of the colouring away from that. Uh, the Leishner foundation is actually just one colour, and it, but although translucent, it, it, it does come in sort of like a flesh-toned shade, so don't worry about it. if you put it on your face and think you look like a ghost, it just disappears. There we are, I'm just brushing it all away now. I've been Carla Jackson, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.